the story's still unfolding. People across the world are wondering what led up to this moment. A duplex in Arlington violently explodes. How does someone blow up a house like that? I don't know. What's the story with this guy? We know that, like, obviously there's something troubling going on, but we don't really have a full picture. But unlike most people, Megan Wilson knew of this situation as it was unfolding hours before. He was supposed to be at a soccer game. Her cousin lives in the neighborhood where this played out and had been sending videos taken from his roof to their family group chat prior to the now viral video of the explosion. Of course, we didn't anticipate a giant explosion, but I mean, they are on their rooftop and it's, uh, you know, just across the street and there's only like maybe 10 houses in their cul-de-sac, so there's not a lot of distance. Wilson lives in Richmond and was following along as her cousin sent videos of the subject shooting flares from the home and the police response. You could feel it and see it escalating. Moments of worry came after he sent the video of the blast. We must have watched it 10 times in a row, just so, and like in complete disbelief. And, you know, then, then I didn't hear from my cousin and his wife for a minute. And, you know, then before we knew it, it was on Twitter and it carried away by the interweb. Wilson works in communications and PR, so she quickly realized she needed to help her cousin out as the video gained attention. It was like within an hour, it had like 4 million views on Twitter. Wilson says her cousin and his pregnant wife were on the roof at the time of the explosion and are safe at another family member's home. There's still a presence there, still an active, chaotic scene, so and they don't have power, so they eventually left and, you know, got my uh, cousin's wife set up and making sure she's comfortable. The next step, Wilson says, their family hopes to help them process what they saw. I did talk to him this morning as he was leaving and we had like a debrief about it and he seems calm and they're on their way to safety and calmness. Jake Burns, CBS 6 News.